Squad on set. <laughs> what's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepard checking in. This is the Progress Report. Boss Brit the most lit. Hey, what's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. Hey, and we got oh. Sky Morales. Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we ain't shit. <laughs> right, we need to do something better. I feel like oh, ours is kind of bland. With the fruit roll up. Word. I, I thought you was rolling up for a minute. She don't know I'm rolling up this fruit roll That's what up. I thought it was. <laughs> I ain't seeing nah, fruit roll up. I'm hella. dead. I been having a hell of them. You do? Yes. You ain't supposed to eat them with braces. No, I know, I, just I know. I got back on them and they really good. Man. They are good. I had them in like years. Word. So, Sky, what's going on? Well, hey guys. <laughs> I just dropped the EP. Um, mm-hmm. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, I'm really so, excited. <laughs> no, that's about dope. The EP. Definitely. That I just dropped. Um, it's real special to me, like to my heart. So yeah, that's what's going on. Definitely. Um, it's called Free. Mm-hmm. It's called Free. Um, definitely, I fuck with it too. It's a four track EP. Mm-hmm. So just on, from my interpretation of what I've heard of it or heard when I was listening to it. Um, just pretty much setting yourself free from, you know, other people's, you know. Everything. Every, right. Honestly. Okay. So talk about that liberation and what's been going on. Um, honestly, like, I feel like as people, we go through so many things in life. Like, I don't know, from, you know, like heartbreak to like inner issues, like, you know, with your mental and stuff like that. And it's just like, I really just made freeze to be like. I want everybody to know, like, it's okay to be free. And I'm just encouraging it more. Like, mm-hmm. that's really what this EP is to me. Like, I want to encourage everybody that feels like, you know, like nobody sees them or nobody hears them or mm-hmm. nobody, they can't relate to nobody, that they can relate to me because I feel it. You know, and I've been there. Mm-hmm. So. It definitely sounds like you got out of a relationship. <laughs> I didn't listen to that shit there because <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play that shit back to back. All right. Four no, tracks. The same thing too. Four track purpose. Nah, really. Do you talking about the music sound like I just got out of relationship? Certain yeah. songs. Sure. I feel that, but really, I feel like it's more so about how you interpret um, mm-hmm. the song. You know, mm-hmm. depending on what you're going True. through. True. That's a fact. That's so, a fact. That's so, what do you define as as free? Mm. Um, for me, it's I have this thing with butterflies. I love butterflies, and you know, they go through stages. They're mm-hmm. they're not. They don't have their wings at first. Like. Mm-hmm. They have to be a cocoon and then, you know, bleed out and then they gain their wings. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like, for me, that's being free. Like, the journey on the process of gaining your wings. Okay. So. Progression. Dope. Right. Dope. Dope. Mm-hmm. All about butterfly. Progression. Definitely. Definitely. Ow. But yeah, I, I, and I like EPs. I like EPs, especially mm-hmm. when it's a new artist, just because it lets me get what I need to know. Right. So I can hear, like, you know, how you sing. Mm-hmm. Um, can you talk about certain subjects? You know, can you do metaphors so I can appreciate that, it. Yeah, yeah, I can appreciate that. Did you write your music? I co-wrote this. Okay, okay. okay. yes. Nice. Got mm-hmm. you. So how does that process work when you uh, co-write with somebody? Like, do y'all go back it's, and forth? Yeah, especially when you say it's from, like, a real place from yourself. Facts. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, honestly, it's all about making sure that the people you're writing with or the person that you're writing with understands you. Like, mm-hmm. what? so, like, for me, you know, when I was working with my writers, it was kind of like, okay, my style is working of working is we sitting down, we talking, we might be smoking, we you know, just feeling out the vibe, mm-hmm. the beat is playing. Mm-hmm. And smoking. that's well, I was like, <laughs> Yes sir. Yes, that's my Yes sir. Um yes. <laughs> we I feeling out it. the vibe and stuff, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And that's and from that comes so much, like you wouldn't even so know, but then it's like, damn, all these words just start coming in. So you rather be like that than someone bring a song to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that makes I sense. Do hear but a lot I do like, feel that, you know, the song bring like sometimes people do bring me songs and I'm like, oh yeah, that's dope. I record that. But like yeah. mm-hmm. to be more involved, yeah, like mm-hmm. you know, it's that's a different feeling. Different. Yeah, if you can I relate agree. to it, I feel like if you can relate to it, you can sing to it better because mm-hmm. you're singing from emotion. And I stuff feel like, like both that. is fine. Like you know, to yeah. have a little bit of both. Yeah, it's that's cool. dope. Yeah. Um, your dad is a producer. My dad is a producer. My stepdad. Pops. Wow. Yes. So, right. Pops. so, talk about how Low power. So, so you've been with him for a long time. Yeah, since I was thirteen. Like honestly, when I moved to Atlanta, I was around thirteen. From where? New York. Okay. Um, and yeah, I met him when I was thirteen. He stuck me in the studio at thirteen, and he gave me like this five-part harmony. I swear to you, and. 
he was so amazed that I could sing it at 13. He was like telling my mom, like, yo, like, okay, we got to do something with her. Like, mm. if, if my stepchild was like a <laughs> DJ, do you know how happy I like, like, what the fuck? Do that again? Do that again? Like, you like, geek that, like, you can Facts. sing and shit. Sing that right. again? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Very. So, <laughs> yeah, at that age, they wanted me to do music around that time, but I'm 13. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm still trying to find myself. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, so, really, I've been doing music now, seriously, within, like, three years, the past mm-hmm. three years. Wow. Mm-hmm. 13, that's an accurate age, too, because mm-hmm. it's like, you you still developing. Yeah. Yeah, you, might you might have acting. You might have brain. What you want me to sing about? You know what I'm saying? Kids, but it's, kids, kids it is a balance because it's like if you are kids young and you are attractive, mm-hmm. you want you don't want it to seem too sexy. Exactly. Because I think it's weird. This, you know. I think like this is a good age. A good age like, I agree. Yeah, because oh, or like you might be stuck in a little kid shit. That's like how Bow Wow can never get out that little kid shit. That's a fact. That's right there. But that's dope. That's dope. But yeah. Um, so you're originally from New York. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what part? The Bronx. The Bronx. Yes. I'll get okay. New York, vibe. You Puerto Rican? Yeah, you yes. give me the New York. I'm Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. Oh, she crazy as hell. Yeah, she Puerto okay. Rican yeah. and Dominican. Oh, we got another one in the building. <laughs> and we got a, what'd you say to her, man? Where are you from? Uh-oh. Oh, he, he legit. He legit. <laughs> okay, so now I have a story about New York. Um, well, not a story, so to speak, but a Bronx story. I went to the Bronx one time. Oh, um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't oh, okay. bad. I went to St. John's, New York oh. for college one year. So we had to do, for one of my classes, we had to do some volunteer work. So I got put in the Bronx to volunteer. So it was just, I just remember the streets. It was just mad, grimy, yeah. like trash everywhere. A whole bunch of just, you know, kids roaming around. It was mm-hmm. just real grimy and just seemed real impoverished and whatnot. So... Talk about your experience growing um, up in the Bronx. Honestly, yeah, like I grew up in the hood, period. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the Bronx is what it is. But honestly, like for me, it's a culture thing. Like today, yeah, for I sure. want to go back. For sure. And they're changing it and it's making me mad because it's like, damn, that's not what I grew up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same yeah. Here, it's man. throwing me off. But like, mm-hmm. I love the Bronx and I'm forever, I'm, that's where I'm from. That's home. You go back for home? sure. I do. That's and right. I'm going to go in a couple weeks. It's Christmas. Period. Oh, yeah, it is Christmas yeah. uh, approaching us. So, speaking of Christmas coming up, um, so. Um, what you getting us? So <laughs> right. What y'all getting me? What you getting? You got the CP, you about, you about to get some money. Right, right. 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 A little royalty. What right. up? What up? What up? Do you have anybody special in your life that you're getting Christmas uh, gifts for? Y'all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I thought hard and long about how I was gonna go into that. So yeah, my mama. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> so we see you was dating Cody. Nah, yeah, not nah, me and Cody. Yeah, okay, no, dope, no, no. Th- we booked Cody mm-hmm. at first Fridays. Was you there? Yeah, I was. That was you. Yeah, that was crazy. Of course, that was you. Oh, that was you. I was here. I was in the DJ booth the whole time. That is okay. I remember I said some slick shit like. You got we got all the hoes in here for you. She was like, nah. I, and I was like, nah. She I was like, I was like oh, that bae. Oh, my bad, bae. I Red, didn't know. Red is always um, putting her foot in her mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the crazy, crazy thing. Not you know, yet. I DJ for her sister. Oh, really? Yeah, mm-hmm. I DJ for black. That's so. ironic. Yeah, it's that's, kind of that's how yeah. I first learned Small about world. Cody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, but um, she's on the rise, too. Mm-hmm. So, um. It's really dope to just see y'all really grinding. And for both sure. really talented. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, add her to your Christmas list. <laughs> she has some of my Christmas list. And she knows that. <laughs> she <Except> definitely. But <laughs> then you ain't she ain't on your Christmas list. Yeah. Right. Um, so talk about going back to parents. We spoke about your stepdad. So your mom, mm-hmm. she's your manager. She is my manager, yes. Mama How is that relationship like? I don't know if I would necessarily like for my mom to be my manager, but a on the of- other hand, a lot I'm of trusting. people ask me, yeah, because it's a trusting. Yeah. It's like, damn, that's my mom. Like, she's not going to let nobody. Fuck yeah, over, right. that's the thing, because moms don't care about money like that. They know. Like, yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, true. at the end of the day, she just wants to make sure I'm good and yeah. the business is not aligned for me mm. beforehand. So. Does it ever conflict, though? Like, all right, I need to be my mom right now, not mm. my manager. Definitely right sometimes, but we definitely are learning how to, mm-hmm. you know, work through that, because it does, like, mother. Mom and daughter, come on. Yeah. Has she been in the business before? Yeah, or? she's been in the music industry. Like, she actually was managing, still, um, 
my stepdad. That's how they met. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. It runs in the family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because love. my mom was my manager. She would be horrible. <laughs> yeah. Like, my mom was my manager, bro. I was like, I had a problem with my mom. I'm like, yo, you're not doing uh, shit, yeah. mom. <laughs> so it's good that she's been in the in the game. Yeah. Um, and your stepdad was a is a producer. Mm-hmm. So does he? Did he produce any music for you? Yeah. Like that's on your um, EP. Yes. Um, tempo. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Bro, that's so yeah. hard. Yeah, like it's, it's intimate. You They're know, Christmas. Like They're gonna be singing around a tree and <laughs> yeah. shit. I produced this. Can he beatbox? Right. Can he beatbox? Can he beatbox? Yeah. I'm dead. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm dead. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. They're gonna that's be like, I am dead. Yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> right. She's gonna be singing. <laughs> Wait, is that how y'all holidays look? Oh man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
being in tune to like a real feeling, yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's what's really going to bring it out yeah. and being yourself it's important. to the full. Yeah, definitely. Um, so talk about just that though, just you know, uh, learning yourself and growing into the woman that you are today, and you still going to be I'm growing still, continuously. Yep, How old are you? Twenty. Yeah, Twenty. I'm a baby. Baby, but baby. You, you got a mature no, soul I, I see you in the club drinking liquor. That. Saying I'm Period. <laughs> uh, okay. Listen, and first of all, we didn't give her no time. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. First of all, but first of all, we didn't even know Cody wasn't 21. Bro, we about to go with sparklers right, on right, it. Right. I'm like, the fuck? Look, I ain't gonna lie. We ain't even know, but I'm like, all right. Live y'all best y'all life. Babies, we both 20. Yeah. Damn, but, um, 20. Yeah, like, just back to the question, though, because it's like, you're gonna always be reevaluating and self evaluating yeah. on a good scale, mm-hmm. but um, just talk about just growing into yourself and all that good stuff. Honestly, like, I cannot sit here and I won't sit here and lie and be like, life is easy or I don't have bad days or like I've never been depressed before or none of that shit because it's real. Depression is real. Like Mm -hmm. we go through a lot of stuff that people probably would never know about just by looking at us. And to be able to overcome that is an amazing thing. Like, and I'm still working on that. I'm still learning how to cope with like anxiety and stuff like that. Like Mm -hmm. all that stuff is really real. So like it's, it's a process every day. Yo, and please keep talking about it. Absolutely. Put it in your music and stuff because yeah, because uh, we we frequently talk about the difference between Nicki Minaj and Cardi. Mm-hmm. It's like Nicki puts herself on a pedestal of like you're perfect. Mm-hmm. Cardi mm-hmm. puts herself like very relatable, mm-hmm. and that's why people can fuck yeah. with her. Exactly. So I think um, that's a big thing nowadays. Like people want to relate to you. Exactly. They don't want to look at like they they look up to you, but they want to relate yeah, to you. Yeah. Really, everything is a facade. Like. Man. About what you see on Instagram and stuff, that and it's so like that's true. not real. So like true. when you go home at night, that's not real. That's and I fact. feel like people that grow a big Instagram following be the ones that like be like they go through it the worst. I done probably. did. On oh, that bitch with a wig I got on, wig, wig on. off. <laughs> yeah, those are the ones. Yeah. It's like, oh, this bitch is really. Gotta make yeah. it relatable, yeah. man. Yeah. They like that more. I'm telling Facts. you, because everything is too saturated. Yeah. Facts. Um, so lastly, how would you define a word progress as we talk about getting better and all that good stuff? So what does the word progress mean to you? The word progress, it reminds me of a butterfly. Like, that's what it means to me. Um, growing, learning, and growing. That's what True. I think of when I think of progress. Growing, learning, and learning. Okay. I like that word. Nope. So you say you got a new project dropping first quarter. Yes. So what else can we expect? You can expect shows. You can expect more videos, Look, interviews, <laughs> everything. I want to come to a show. Like a I want, yeah, I want to come yes, to a show. I would to. love to. Yeah, <laughs> I like they dancers. Can we get yes. invited? Yes. We want to come to a show. We need backstage passes. Uh, don't say a chorus. No, yeah, that's see, not even. I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. We don't need them. I don't know them. We know we ain't making it yet. We ain't I don't know them. All right, all right. All right, man. So it's an album? It's an album drop? I'm not telling you. Okay. Mm. It's a secret. Gotta Just, wait and know. See. Just know. We're going to make that listening party. We're going to make that listening party it's, for yeah. sure. It's dope to drop an ET, build that buzz. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, EP. 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 What did I say? What you say? I said E.T. E.T. I don't know. It, it's the crown. It's the crown. <laughs> it's the crown. <laughs> nah, EP, just to build that buzz, um, get sure. us in tune. And we look forward to whatever coming next. Yes. Yeah, if we don't get invited, we're not posting the interview. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> If we don't get nah, about definitely. Yeah, we nah. don't you. Now we enjoy talking to you and uh, just keep to you guys. for sure. Just keep growing and just keep working on music and all that good stuff. But you got our support. Yes, sir. The progress support. Yeah.